The purpose of these videos is to orient you to what components look like and how you act on them. If you haven't yet viewed the Watch Me First video, please do that first as it lets you know what to expect. As you read in Chapter 5, a case is a type of node in MVivo and can be used to represent the units of analysis in a project. This video is in two parts. In this first part, we show you what cases look like, discuss situations in which cases are useful and different ways of creating them. In the second part, we discuss the actions that can be taken on cases. Cases are types of nodes in MVivo, so there's a special folder for storing cases in the nodes area. We use cases to represent the units of analysis in a project when those units are not equivalent to whole sources. There are many situations when this might be relevant, depending on the research design. In this project, it is relevant because we have several sources for each unit of analysis. For example, each of our respondents has been interviewed, so we have an interview transcript represented as a source. In addition, however, each of those same eight respondents also responded to a photo elicitation exercise, and they also responded to vignette scenarios. So that means that we have three sources representing each respondent. In order to gather together those pieces of information about each respondent, we create cases. So here we have a case for each respondent at which the three sources is gathered together, and that is done by coding. What that means is that when we open up the case, we have stored at the case the whole of the interview transcript, the whole of the photo elicitation exercise, and the whole of the vignettes scenario. Another situation when cases may be used to represent respondents is when we have multiple respondents within the same source. That's typically the situation in focus group studies. So let's go and open up a different NVivo project and have a look at this. Here we have focus group transcripts and within each transcript several respondents are talking. You can see as I scroll down the source that each segment of data where each respondent talks has been coded at a separate case node for that respondent. When we go to the nodes area, we can see all of the focus group respondents from all four of the focus group transcripts in this project and opening up one of those case nodes will show us everything that that respondent said in the focus group. Cases are not only useful for representing respondents. There are also situations when the unit of analysis may be different. In the sample NVivo project, for example, as well as representing different types of people using cases, there are also cases for different places. We can create cases manually by linking data that relates to them via the process of carefully selecting relevant references and linking to the case node. Alternatively, if the transcripts have been prepared using consistent heading levels that represent each unit, NVivo's autocoding feature can be used to quickly locate and code the relevant data to each unit. This was what was done in the focus group situation because the identifiers are consistent heading levels and then we can just go to the focus group transcripts. I'm going to select all of them. When I right click, I can choose the autocode option and then I can ask NVivo to help me autocode these transcripts according to style or structure. And heading levels are an aspect of style.